hey guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll show you how you can create a simple subscribe button animation inside of it film express so to get started we'll create a new composite shot and let's call this main 2 for the duration let's go with 3 seconds 19 20 10 80 30 fps click on ok let's create a new plane layer i'm gonna call this solid and 19 20 10 80 and for the color we're gonna give it this color youtube red color cc 0000 click on ok to apply it now you can select your layer and click on double click on this icon rectangle mask to create a mask around your layer and you can expand the mask go to transform unlink the scale and you can reduce the height and the width independently on this mask then we can go to shape and uh, expand the expansion so just increase it so that we have these rounded corners you can also go to options and turn off checkerboard background so that you can see it a bit more clearly all right cool now we can create a new text layer i'm gonna type in subscribe and for the text for the font i'm gonna use roboto and let's give it a white color click on okay and i'll just reduce and maybe just increase the size as well and just try to bring it in the center of this box now what i'm going to do is use this cursor image just drag that in you can find it on google itself just google for cursor png image i'm going to rename this to cursor and as you can see that the size is too big so i'm just going to reduce the size just reduce the scale amount let's set this to let's go for five and now we'll just create our animation on this mouse cursor so i can activate the keyframe by clicking on this icon over here right next to position just click on it to activate keyframe and i can just change the position and bring it in the left corner and i can move forward in time let's go forward maybe by about a second and i can change the position again and try to bring it in the center you can see that it will automatically hit film will automatically create a keyframe for you and if you check out this animation this is how it is going to look it's pretty linear I'm going to select these two keyframes and convert the keyframes to manual best here click on that and go to value graph and in here you can just hold the shift key and just drag this handle all the way to the left now our animation will be a little bit fast at the beginning and just slow down at the end now after this keyframe i'm going to create a keyframe on scale right under it move forward two frames i'm going to set the scale to three move forward two frames and set the scale to five so it will have kind of a click animation like so and if you check it out we have our mouse cursor coming in clicking and now we want it to go away so i can just create a keyframe here i can just copy or the keyframe the previous keyframe which has the same position values and i can move forward in time and change its position maybe somewhere over here and again make sure that both of these keyframes are manual bezier when you value graph and just create a similar graph as we did before and now our animation will look something like this now if you take a look at the animation you can see that our animation is the path of animation is pretty linear it's in a straight line complete straight line and in real life when you move your mouse cursor it's not completely straight right there is some deviation in the path so we can do that as well you can just simply select these handles and you know create your curve like this and you can do the same thing on the opposite side as well you can also turn on motion blur on this layer can see the motion blur over there now what we want to do is create our text shift animation you know when the click happens i want to display subscribed instead of subscribe 
so for that I need to create another text layer first of all let's just rename this to subscribe I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna bring it down and call it subscribe subscribed okay and on this layer I'm just going to change its position maybe bring it somewhere over here and at the end I'm just going to add the letter D and I can just reduce the size now what I can do is I want to change the position of both of these text layers like so I want them to have same animation now I can you know do that individually in every layer these two text layers or I can just simply create a new point layer and I can rename this to text control and I can just paint in these two text layers to that text control layer and now whatever changes you make on this point layer the changes will be applied to your text uh, which are parented to this layer and not only position you can change the scale rotation and all that good stuff now I'm gonna um, go to the point where the click happens which is at this frame create a keyframe on position there and I can go forward in time and change the position and I'm gonna basically try and position the subscribed text in the middle like that and I can select these two keyframes and on the keyframes to manual bezier so let's check it out I have this simple animation now what I want to do is I want to hide the subscribe text which is at the bottom and as we go forward I want to hide the subscribe text which is at the top so we need to create our math layers or mask layers so in order to do that I can use this solid layer control D and I can duplicate it and call it math subscribe so that we can tell that this math layer is for our subscribe text and I can just put it under that text layer and I can right click on it and click on reset so that everything will be back to normal and I can also get rid of the mask as we don't want it on this layer you can also select this layer go to transform and reduce the opacity so that you can see what's going on behind this layer now I'm gonna put this layer let's see I'm gonna move forward actually I'm gonna move backwards to the very first frame and I'm gonna put this top part of this plane layer in this position over here right on top of the text and I can just go to set effects and I'm gonna search for set matte effect and apply it on the text layer the subscribe text layer expand it go to source layer and set that to matte subscribe blend to subtract and you click on the invert option so you as you move forward you can see that our text is visible and then it just goes away from our scene all right that is the first part now we need to hide our subscribe text which is at the bottom you can also turn off the layer visibility on matte subscribe we don't want that to be visible i can duplicate this and i can rename this to matte subscribed and i can just put it under our subscribe text and do the same things drag in the set mat put it on the subscribe text expand the set mat and set the source layer to matte subscribed set the blend to subtract and uh, that should be all good and we need to also change the position on this matte layer and just bring it down somewhere over here so as you go forward you can see that we have this nice text shift animation and that's exactly what we want so let's play this in real time cool that is looking great now what we want to do is create our fill color animation on this box so let's search for fill color and apply it on the solid plane which is at the bottom okay so we want to have that same red color I'm going to click on this and uh, just type in that color code again which is CC 0000 click on ok and let's create our color animation so go to the time where the click happens right over here create a keyframe on color 
let's move forward a few frames and change the color so let's um, use this color here and click on ok and if you play the animation there we go we have this subscribe button over here and you can also if you want to select your subscribed text go to text panel and change its color so let's use a darker color over here click on ok and let's play this there you go that's how easy it is to create the subscribe button animation inside of hitcom now you can go to options and turn on checkable background you can see the animation is still transparent to render it out as a transparent animation you can go to export and uh, you can just add it to a queue and you can go to your export tab here and you can just change the preset i'm going to click on it and i'm going to select the copro cineform preset make sure that at the end it says with alpha that is the preset that you want to select if you want to preserve the transparency on the on this animation so once you render it out you can use any editing software go to your edit page and uh, edit a timeline you can just simply drag and drop this animation you can see that it will have the transparency you can go ahead and just rescale it you know scale it down change its position and so you play the animation and this is how it's gonna look so that's it for this video i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new if it was then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one <coughs>